The vast continent of Zaya has seen many adventurers come and go. Join us as we lock our hardcore group Iron Man within its shores and explore everything it has to offer. All in the name of fun and getting on the beers. Today's episode will see us completing the client of Karen Quest, amongst some great banter and very difficult to follow references. We'll use the XP lamps on Hunter, and this will unlock Hunter for us as we'll keep trying to lamp Slayer, which we'll discuss further in this episode. In the near future, we'll get cracking on construction to unlock agility, and we'll keep grinding on our individual skills. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Half the people watching aren't subscribed. That's fucked. Enjoy the episode. All right, so are you ready to do Client of Karend, mate? Yep, giddy up. Still haven't forgot about your Lawn Bowls prowess champ. Hmm. Ah, yes, the Client of Karend. Yeah, you got any quests for me there, champion? Not sure about this type of quill. I'd just use a Kilometrico, eh? Fan of the Kilometricos, mate? Not, not a bick? Yeah. No, Kilometrico. Yeah, 10,000 words before it runs out, mate. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's good. I was always, a, a, I preferred like a thicker line. I don't mind like a paper, mate. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. A, a click that's top, a bit, but... of, bit of a hot take there, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. I was a massive fan of the Kilometrico. If you didn't have a Kilometrico in school, you were just, you just didn't fit in. You were nothing. Let's go to no. let's, let's go to Hesidius first. Oh, but first, let's have a table beer. Yes. Oh, got oh, it. Hey, beauty. There we go. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Down the hatch. Oh, yeah, that's some good squishy. Yeah, that's bloody excellent. You know what? I'm gonna get myself an IRL beer. Would you walk us to Hesidius Bank, mate? Ah, uh, absolutely, mate. <laughs> Been, Legend. Be my pleasure. This is good leeching the run off you here, mate. Yes. The leeching is good. You know what else is good? Oh, yeah, I've got to get one. <laughs> yes, that's good. Ah, uh, you've been trapped. Yummy. So we basically got to ask each of them why we should gain favour in their uh, house. Yeah, and we can write it ask down. You that, oh, before you ask him, use the feather on the enchanted scroll, though. Ah, that's a tip for young players. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the leech. <laughs> Where are we going to walk to now? I guess we'll go straight through to Shazian. Yeah. You know, I'm. I'm sure I've bloody. Ran the uh, old mate from the rain shop out of business because I keep selling him back bows. <laughs> no, a bit about fletching, mate. Yeah, yeah. Currently 55. Oh, bloody hell. That's good. <laughs> yes, there are people. There's a beer! <laughs> There's another beer! Ground beer! I'm eating that. <laughs> Mate, they just know that we've come and they've bloody asked us, what do you want? What do you want in the game? I'm sure there's some bloody Jagex mods that have just seen our channel and said, look, we're going to plant beers everywhere for you. We're happy with your series. Good on you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely factual. Oh, you never know, mate. Yeah, exactly. Not, oh, watch out for these giant bats. I know these well. Yeah, can this you can the, you uh, can you elaborate on this story about you with the giant bat? So this is where the incident happened with the old steel axe. So you know, doing me uh, doing my day job, usual AFK, just a bit of a slow day at work, and uh, yeah, I was on my way to go and have another run, and and uh, just doing a little bit of steel and um, maybe a little bit of iron. It might have been a little bit earlier on. But, uh, yeah, it just logged me off. And then when I got back on, I was on 8, eight HP and there was a pile of bat bones in front of me. <laughs> Good day, Mate, Monty. Steel Axe. So good. Oh, yeah, he sells beers. <laughs> Does he? 
pretty sure he does. <laughs> well, if his name's Munty, I mean, of course he sells beers. He's munted, mate. Yeah. Tell you what, this would be a quick quest if you could fucking run around. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if um, someone didn't use all the strange fruits in episode three. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, there is egg on my face. <laughs> I may have nah, stolen look. some more, but I haven't put them in the group storage yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, my feeding may be 51, but your feeding from me is 99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting double XP off you, champ. All right, now we talk to this bloke. Hey, Rega. Oh, quality story you've got here, mate. Hmm, something fishy's going on here, mate. Vaios's fault. He's a bit of a dodgy fella, eh? Ah, oh, yeah, he's probably too good at lawn bowls. I, I don't like how good he is at it. <laughs> good character, good side character in the movie Crackerjack. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Might have another table beer. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't <laughs> resist them. They're just funny. Uh, I walk for miles to drink a beer. Sip of in-game beer. Ah, a sip of IRL beer. Ah, yummy. Oh, that also sounded good. Why haven't I got one yet, you silly bugger? <laughs> hey, what are we doing? We haven't been up to bloody yeah, we're going port on... I can't pronounce ya. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking up there now. Come here, leans. I'll tell you what, mate. I've been searching up the wiki so much that whenever I go to type something other than RuneScape in, I put OSRS after it. Oh, God. I have lived that life so many times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's not good. <laughs> you just get... Mucked up search results when yeah. you try and type in uh, Jacques Callas batting average OSRS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, it just doesn't work. <laughs> oh, this oh. bloke's too invested in the Dark Ultra. I'm not having a bar of this. Yeah, you might be right here. I reckon he's shifty. All right, let's, let's walk this bludger up the Dark Ultra. While he's getting his beer. <laughs> I've left him behind! See you later, freak! <laughs> Have you left, left me for dead? <laughs> you got stuck behind the fence! <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna activate this mysterious orb near the dark altar. Yeah, good idea. Ah, I'm shit, going walk it's about just having a bit of beer. Oh, this is it now. We just got to go back to Vaos, and that's that's done. We're done the quest. That's right. We're about to get two 500 XP lamps. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. So there's been a lot of a lot of thinking that's gone into these two 500 XP lamps because yeah, a lot of back and they forth. literally change everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do have the potential to change everything. Because we used our initial mm. one on Slayer from X marks the spot. Um, yeah, you're right. Yep. So we, we could use the lamp on Slayer and get it to tend so we can pick up the face mask and then mine the sulfur to get favour for the Lovercane house. Mm. But we also get a favour certificate, you know, from this quest for 20%. So we could just skip all that nonsense and get Lovercane favour that way with the certificate. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's the go because we do the Forsaken Tower quest, which gives us an extra 10%. Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. could use it on we could use the lamp on agility, but we can yeah. train agility once we get forty two construction with the old toy mice in the house. Which we found is quite easy at Old Winter Todd. We thought it was going to be a bit more of a grind, but I guess 
level one to about three was tough, but after that, <laughs> it just flew. Yeah, that's right. I think, you know, we've got planks and stuff now. We're, we're capable of chopping wood. You've got access to the guild, as you said, so... Yeah, you I've know, got my 60 wood cutting, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can make us planks, and, you know, we haven't gone to do it yet, but we can change our house to Hasidius, so we can actually go build ourselves some chairs and tables and whatnot. We were going to avoid using it on Hunter, because, you know, we can just catch those little bat bludges in the chambers of Zeric, but especially me with my piss-poor HP, getting to the chambers of Zeric would be a bit of a struggle, so yeah, I think you made the correct call. I think we should just use it on Hunter, right? As you said. Use it on Hunter and <laughs> catch, the, uh, catch the birds, because that way we can skip all that nonsense trying to get all the way over to Mount Quidamortem. Mm. And even if there is a way to get over there, you know, fuck it, we want to we wanna get on with it, don't we? Just quietly, mate. Where are we going? Oh, fuck. I was too, in I was too invested in the conversation. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> 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 Nothing like a, a good walk to Vaos to bloody plan the mission ahead. Exactly. Here he is. Hello, champion. What's the go here? Ooh. Is he having a laugh? Nah, no, he's, he's bloody possessed, mate. Oh, Vaos was yeah. being mind controlled by his own client. Oh, there we are. Oh, and how good's this? The first step towards getting bulk teleports around. We've got Caret's memoirs. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be very handy. Very handy. I've confirmed. Confirmed. Giddy up. 500. Grats, grats. We can now yeah, trap golden some... warblers. Okay. 500. Oh, lovely. Giddy up. Nine hunter. Copper long tails. Now catch copper long tails. That's what we're after. Love that for us. Well, yeah, I know you like your mining. See, am I even going to need the favor right now? Like, I could wait till I lamp 10 Slayer. Maybe. And then... I might go P Piscarilia so I can use those planks. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe Pisca I can't pronounce you. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, if I, I'm not really getting my mining and smithing up, you're the one doing all that for us. So if I yeah. skip all that crane garbage, then that way I can uh, get straight into doing construction in the house. Yep, I've made the call. Fuck the dwarves, I'm going Piscarilius. Very good. Very fruitful quest. Yeah, bloody good time as had by all. And a little safe spot here to kill some hobgoblins. Now, they do have some very good drops. I've ended up actually getting a couple of them already. Uh, on my last run, we got a Quam and a Lorun. So that'll be good if we can use those for a couple of house tellies to move around when we get the Hesidious house. Okay, uh, getting very close to another big total level here. Currently sitting on 699. Uh, Going to bring it up with a magic level. Let's... Uh, Take out one of these cows. Alright, one more. No! I do actually need this raw beef. There we go. Seven magic and 700 total level. How good. As I was saying, I do need this beef because I'm going to go and spin it on the wheel to make some crossbow string to uh, put together some of those uh, limbs I've been smithing, so they are crossbows in the making. How good? 700. All right, well, hopefully oh, it's 25k, because that's all I brought. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, we finally get to get a house. Hello, estate agent. Please reload. Oh, it's only 8750, mate. Cheap as fucking I'm chips. I'm an idiot. Maybe it because it's level 25 construction? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That may have been the little brain worm that got me. No, you're all good, but All right, well, give me a house in Hasidius. Thank you, champion. Awesome. All right, now we can actually train construction bulk. When's the housewarming party? 
Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Let me. I'll. I'll need a bit of time to decorate. So it'll be soon. It'll be soon. Mm. There better be bulk beers. Oh, you better believe that'll be the one and only item on the menu. Thirty-four farming. I can now do the first fruit at Tithe Farm. Ah. The Golo yes. Banova fruit. Ooh. Ah, yes. I've got plenty of their toppers. Yeah, so if I, uh, you know, if I continue to leech and use all our seeds, then I can just go to Tithe Farm for some levels. Mmm. It's in one of these crates. I don't know which crate it's in, but it's in one of them. Yeah, okay. Oh, yep, it's this one. Oh, mate! What a find! Bird snare! Want to catch some birds? I've. Yeah, might set I'll up. Go me, up a little bit. Might set up me trappy. Now we're, you know, we're in direct competition here. Absolutely. The hunting competition begins. Come here. Oh, they've gone for yours. Come here, bludger. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I've got to get away from it a bit. Come on. A Come on, yes. Oh. No, he's fucked um. up me trap. <laughs> No. You knocked your bales off, champ. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Get over here. Stop. He's fucked me <gasps> up again. Knocked your bales off again. <laughs> this is poor. Wait, this is going to be a good source of feathers, eh? Oh, get on. <laughs> oh, you are plum. Back to the pavilion, champ. Oh, this this is what I remember it to be. Yes, giddy up. Very poor. <laughs> no, this is tops. Good prayer XP. That's tops. Prayer XP, feathers, future cooking mm. XP with the bird meat. Although, mate, to cook that bird meat, you'll have to make us an iron spit. Already way ahead of you, champ. Oh, you're a legend. <laughs> oh, you know, the other day I, I met a Frenchman and I asked him whether he played any video games. Yeah, what did he say? He said, we. Yeah, here we go. So Mitty went, went and got us, got us an axe and a tinderbox. And we're going to cook up these meats. Luckily, he's seen a very prominent video on how to do that. Oh, yep. that's good. Yep, so skewer the meat, then chuck it on the old fire. Oh, this is excellent. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Really, really good XP here. 63 XP per go. That's actually really decent for our level. massive. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it just went out. No. Legend. Oh, 31 cooking, mate. That's bloody excellent. We can cook fish cakes. Too bad we can never do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, stop knocking me bales off. He sees all his torched and raw <laughs> brethren on the ground and he's mad, so he's knocking the bales off. There we go. 38 cooking. Ah, very good. GZ. Cheers. Yeah, you've gone from hunting to cooking where I... have just hit 17 hunter. Oh, God. So I well, can now catch baby implings. Now in I case... can just go all the way to Young's, I reckon. Oh, I'm not catching any more of these birds if I don't have to. <laughs> but now that I'm 17 hunter, as I just said, you know, we can now catch... Baby Implinks, which, you know, you might think, well, we're not in Zanaris, are we? But there's actually Puro Puro access points in Zaya, two of them, I believe. And so if we get in those crop circles and piss off, I'm telling you what, we left from Zaya. We're not leaving Zaya, we're just in a magical land that exists in Zaya. And so we can do Puro Puro, get our butterfly nets and catch Implinks that way. We can also yeah, obviously just catch like them. a Yep. Just like a random event, mate. Exactly, exactly. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. I think if we find magically the uh, crop circle in Pura, for Pura Pura in Zaya, 
then we should be allowed to use it and catch us some Absolutely. implants. Absolutely. Absolutely agree. It'll be good for some little items, especially down the line once we level up our hunter in bulk from like ninja hey, and magpie yeah. implants. Yeah, magpies are going to be sick. Yep, dragon implings as well, obviously. And uh, mm. it'll be especially helpful too for when we want to complete those elusive clue scrolls. Oh, absolutely. Because mm, we'll have to do lots of juggling there. Yeah, yeah, and those uh, eclectics and then get ranger boots. Oh, my God. <laughs> 327. I'm coming. What made you pick 327? I don't know. <laughs> Huff, you fool. Do we need, do we need coin? No, nah, get in there. All right. Oh, giddy up. Yeah, this is it's good. good. Do you have spare equipment? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. I don't need your inbling scroll, you dickhead. Got a butterfly net now, but... Oh, look out. Here we go. Is there anything I... good we can get out of a baby inkling, though? Um, I think you can get... Oh, it's miscellaneous shit. Yeah, but it's still we can, good. We can get a single cooked lobby. That's good. <laughs> That's dog shit. That's G-double odd. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be living here. <laughs> I reckon all chocolate oh. should either go in the fridge or the freezer. Oh, there's only one exception, I reckon. What's that? Dark chocolate. No way. That's even better like, in the fridge or freezer. Like, real proper, like, 70% dark. Yeah, that's my favourite chocolate. It's got to go in the freezer. You reckon? Yep. Oh, get the bladder in the pantry. Yes, Terpsy just came and gave me an uncut sapphire. <laughs> Thanks, champ. Oh, <laughs> mate, I've just found that's, your steel axe. That's very grim. That is that's grim. That's so grim. Rest in pieces, axe. Yes, so we've just remembered, or I've just remembered, about the Impling Tracker on Runelight. I am a fool. A handsome, handsome fool. Yeah, good looking rooster. Before I leave, I'm checking this easy clue. Come on. Oh, it's a Zaya Step! Yes! Yes, all right. This will be going in the bank, baby. And we will be juggling easy clues at some point in the distant future. Very fast. With a PH. This is where I live now, between these two willow trees. If you need me, you know where to find me. We're grinding up to 60 wood cutting so we can wield that big old dragon axe. At the time of recording the last clip, it was a Thursday evening at home. I spent the whole weekend out drinking beers and not recording on my laptop. Therefore, I got 60 woodcutting on my phone. Uh, but here's proof that I was using the Dragon Axe in the Woodcutting Guild. Yay! Where cash? Where is my cash? I thought I had a lot of it. Oh wait, here it is. I've been doing bulk oak planks to get that construction up. Because we are going to go from 28 all the way to 42 for this crafting table 4. And we are going to start catching some toy mice with MIDI for the agility XP. Finally, I'm sick of walking everywhere. It's crap. 